there guys, it's Joey, and this is a, a setup if you like. It's not really quite a spell setup. Um, it's based around Sanctuary and the Sacred Grove, and it's taken a little bit off uh, an idea of a tarot spell that I came across some weeks ago, and that's shared on one of the protection spells. This is a setup which is designed around the notion of creating a focal point for working with your own personal sacred space, sacred grove in a sanctuary. I'm going to talk about the inner sanctuary in different videos in different ways, um, but basically the overall idea is that it's quite important to be able to create a energetic safe space, and by energetic I mean through energy, through visualization, and it's creating a sacred space within you and without, all around you. This is done by a lot of pagan practitioners, or witch practitioners, or however you want to define that, as the creation of circle casting, and the use of energy work to create a world between worlds is it's often called. There is debate about whether it's needed or not for spell work, which is not going to be taking place here. This is about the idea of creating a sacred space between worlds in which you honour deity. So often you may or may not... Often you may cast a circle when you are engaging in ritual, and the idea for me is one of honour. It's creating a, a sacred space um, using your energy to tap into the unconscious, the divine energy, to create a space which is all their own and show the honour and respect with engaging with particular deities. The setup here is for the Sacred Grove, which is something that I hold very, very dear, and there will be more than one video about this idea over the next few days. The idea of the Sacred Grove for me is innately connected to the idea of sanctuary and sacred space. It's always been that way, that I've always felt that woodlands and, and uh, groves and trees and things, are, are going into them is something otherworldly. It's, it's feeling something incredible. It's nature at its finest. It's trees that have survived the ages and have lived full long lives being connected to the earth and it is otherworldly here on our earth. Druids of course used to believe that the space of the grove was completely sacred and so it ties into the Celtic path completely that they would hear the messages of the gods within tree groves. So this is an indoor setup to sort of honour that idea. Everything here is adjustable and if you wanted to adjust something that is entirely your own prerogative. So it's actually all sat, you can't actually see, but it's all sat on a, lot, a glass dish and the glass dish, dish is actually recycled from the microwave which we hadn't used in years and doesn't work and I took the glass plate out of it, kept it and it can be used for this sort of thing. It's, it's a really good thing to do if, if you're getting rid of a microwave or whatever. So we have over there is the Labradorite point and down here is the code Ogum card. So as you can see, I'm using the Ogum cards from, I will show you the book. It's a Celtic tree oracle. And I decided to remove the four newer ones. Um, beach, Honeysuckle, Spindle and the Sea. Although our you believe code is a later edition. Um, partly for space and partly because obviously the sea doesn't 
tie into the idea of the grove particularly so I just left the new ones out for the, the purposes of this. In the centre we have one of the votives from Lady Jane's Bewitchery but you could use any kind of spell candle. So this one in the centre is purple for spirit and it's an inner peace spell votive, that's its purpose. It's in a little glass dish to make sure that we don't get any uh, wax on crystals or cards. If you do not have something to prevent that, I would truly, truly suggest that you do not risk your cards um, by having, you know, a candle burning wax at the centre. And if you can't do that, you could have a crystal at the centre and I would probably put the Labrador Bright point at the very centre if I was to do that. But if you don't have a generator, you could use uh, five tumble stones of your choice in a, in a sort of pentagram, or you could do a circle of crystals. So then it would be a circle within a circle within a circle. As it is, I have three circles here. I have a circle within a circle within a circle. And uh, on the outside of the candle we have four quartz points and four labradorite points. Quartz are amplifiers and they are a good all-round crystal and they just amplify everything that you are trying to obtain through crystal energy. Labradorite is the crystal of choice for me. Uh, right now and I actually commented to somebody today and it came at the perfect time as these things always do to bring up the fact that Labradorite is a crystal that I use for working with the Morrigan and uh, I, I, I guess Druidic energies, sorcerer energies, shape-shifting energies um, magic energies basically and therefore I've had some of the most amazing and beautiful spiritual experiences in meditation and things with Labradorite and therefore right now it's, it's, it's a crystal that speaks to me like no other and therefore it for me belongs in a setup which is about creating a sacred space and a very physical manifestation to help you when you are visualising and focusing about creating your own energy space. This is something you could do in a new home if you were uh, moving to a new place and you wanted to create a sense of your own, I think the best way of putting it is growing your own forest within your own walls and that's exactly what this is about. This is a physical representation of energy work based around the notion that you are creating your own forest within your own walls. As long as I have been circle casting, I have been calling the quarters as trees. And I was never taught to do this, it's just something that I was adamant about right from the start, before I knew where my path would take me, and of course now it makes perfect sense that whenever I create a circle it is a sacred grove. And therefore, this is a very physical way of looking at something which is going to help you to create the sort of energy map in your mind, if you like. <coughs> so if you have problems manifesting your thoughts or meditating and creating visualizations of things, this is a really great physical way to uh, consider it and in the center you have a candle, you have a candle of spirit, you have um, divinity basically in the very center of your grove and the, divi the everything in the sacred grove uh, encapsulates, surrounds and complements and completes because of deity, because of spirit, because of the universal energy running through everything. Then you have your crystals, so your crystals are sort of like your tools of amplifying, of connecting, of transmuting 
universal energy into everything else and that's pretty much how it works for me anyway. If you wanted to use something else other than crystals and if you wanted to use different crystals by the way you, you absolutely can. It's tools that connect you, that transmute energy, the universal energy into something else. And then we have the oracle cards, the Celtic tree oracle cards which represent each tree. I actually have they've got shuffled around a little bit but at the very top point uh, is hazel right now which is the Celtic month corresponding to the Celtic tree that we are in and I just felt that was something I wanted to do it might be a Virgo thing, who knows um, it's not necessarily the way to do it, you might want to have the first one of the tree calendar which is the silver birch right up the top for in the 12 o'clock position if you like and going round and then it's entirely up to you on that respect. You could also use the Ogham staves, you could also use tarot cards, you could also use other oracle cards. It depends on how you best see your sacred space but for me personally it's a grove, it's a sacred grove that's uh, strong within my Celtic belief system and that's how it's always going to be. So. I really like this notion, I love having the idea of a focal point from which everything flows around and you can create your own inner sanctuary. So that was it for this video, many blessings.